So guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got this at Veteran Edition for 15 bucks. It is a, a, a bipod and a front grip. So I'm gonna shoot it to see how good it, how accurate it's gonna be with that on it. You know, and I'll top it all off, got some aluminum ammo. I'm gonna see how this runs through this. This uh, this high point. Um, can't get that sticker part off. I ain't get off one of these days. So, a lot of people say, you know, that high point is a crappy gun. But a lot of people say high point is a crappy gun. I haven't shot very many rounds through this. I can't say anything about it. But other than what I've seen so far, it's been doing very well. But anyways, I'm gonna shoot some uh, rounds through with some aluminum rounds, about 10 to 20 rounds, and we'll go from there. See you guys in the range. So this foregrip worked pretty well. It was 15 bucks at Ventura, and this sling works great. I have no problems. It's a two-point sling. It's from, uh, I'll look it up. I think it's from Condor or something like that. But this is a new Frontier Armory you can order online. Uh, I'm not trying to sell anything, but this, these are all you can order online. I don't know if Ventura Ammunition, what you can order this online, but I know you can order this online. And the shipping, so you're gonna get 10 bucks. So it's, you know, it might not be worth it if, uh, you have a local store it probably sells something similar to this but this is really real it's a two point so I can go like this or I can clip it off and then hook it on to oh yeah clip it off right here hook it on to here and then that piece goes back there and then it makes a sling but it seems to be me better me well when I put it on my back so just like this I like it better like that I mean make sure it's not loaded I guess or safety's on um, or you can just put it like this and then you'll have it shooting out to the side um, so I've shot in about a hundred rounds to this so far a hundred only not on camera I don't know about 20 or 30 on camera but as far as I can tell with this I don't see any problems with it I don't see I'm gonna have any problems with it from, from right now, my point, it's a good weapon. If you can only afford one, I don't know if they're going up or down or whatever they're doing right now. Let me stand back. I don't know. I don't stand back a little bit so you can see my face. I don't know if they're going up and down or whatever they're doing right now. But, you know, I've seen them online for $279. i have seen them at stores for $279. I got it for $250. That's because I got a discount from uh, Sportsman's because uh, I signed up for the little credit card and loyalty program. So they gave me like 20% off my first uh, purchase. So that's why I got it for so cheap. You know, it's a $350 gun, most likely. You're gonna find it for $279 to $350. I don't know if they're gonna go up. But this right here, if this is all you can afford, very cheap from what I've seen so far. And this is from my perspective. Now people don't like high point, but this is a very good weapon. Um, only thing I don't like about it but it seems to be getting straight. It doesn't wiggle at all. I mean, it does wiggle a little, I mean, it's just, I might take that off eventually, but I'll just leave it there for right now. But this right here, you can't beat it. It's got a lifetime warranty, you know what I mean? We'll see how good that holds up, you know what I mean? Maybe it needs a lifetime warranty, people say. So, um, anyways, this is the model 995 from High Point. You're gonna get it from 279, up to, I guess people are saying $500. I would not pay $500 for this. I'd wait. You know what I mean? But maybe if you, you know, it's the only option. And you want a carbine, 500 bucks is pretty cheap because, you know, I got my, uh, my PSA, uh, um, nine, uh, carbon, my nine, uh, AR. Um, and that's getting sent back to get fixed. Stuff's cracking in it. But, you know, a lot of rounds went through it. Um, 
I do feel a little bit more comfortable shooting this, maybe because it's new, uh, because uh, um, it's so so um, so small. I mean, it's lighter than you think. People think it's heavy, but my 10-inch barrel on my AR9 is a lot. Seems to be heavier. Maybe I'm wrong, but it has more metal parts, so it's a little heavier. This one seems a lot lighter. People say it's heavy. It is heavy, but not as heavy as uh, you would think compared to a, like my Palmetto State one, like I said, the bolt carrier cracked in it. I mean, but a lot of rounds went through it. It's an old, it's from 2018, but um, this one seems lighter than that one. But I will do a review against the uh, Palmetto State and then the cheap old uh, High Point people that hate it, but you should go out and shoot it or have go out and go out to a range and shoot it and then you will change your mind. That noise I was talking about, it is this. And it's you know not a big deal. But it is very accurate. As you can see, I got pretty accurate. I was about 30 feet away. I was more accurate than my um, MCK uh, with my Glock in it. But then again, I don't have iron sights like this one I had that red dot sight and it can get off it could be the red dot it could be going in and out of the macaroni but anyways I'm rambling guys so so far I like it you know I might be actually looking for a 10 millimeter or 45 to see how that one acts but this one works great I like it I mean it's really easy to carry around you know and everything right here like this I didn't think this would fit maybe I have to modify it I didn't I used the original little swivels on it and I can do either way I sling or I can just put it across my back but anyways guys thanks for watching check out my other videos about my uh, Yugo and my MCK alright guys have a good weekend